Hey, I'm Keith Shannon. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the show. Hope everyone's doing great. Now listen, we already did the bottom stair. That's in another video below this. You'll see it as we move around here. Now, we're going for the second stair above the bull nose in a separate video. We're doing this stair, wrapping it all the way around in one piece. So we're gonna start like we usually do. Carpet pile facing down. We've already straight edged this piece of carpet. We've already cut it. So we're just gonna look at it. We know we wanna wrap around the edge there. So let's get rid of the bulk. Nobody wants to work with bulk. All right. So we'll take you over here. Cause that's where we're gonna start. Right in that 45 there. All right, we're gonna get that corner in there nice and tight. We're gonna push that down. Nice and smooth. We're gonna grab our electric staple gun and we're gonna lock that into place like that. Now, we're gonna smooth that all the way along. Make sure it's nice and straight. We're gonna put, bend it here, push down, feel to that corner, lock that in, wiggle those staples in to hide those staple marks. I can't say it enough. Let's hide the staple marks. All right. So, we gotta go under the nose. We're gonna preform that a little bit by pre-bending it. It just makes it easier. Makes it easier for the staples to hold in. And I'll give you a nicer line underneath. We're gonna pre-bend that whole thing all the way down. All right, up on the 45. You can put one staple in. Sometimes I like to put two. Now I'm gonna do that all the way to the end of that stair. right just where it turns there like it's gonna bend and turn over to that other side right so let's give you this angle here i'm gonna kick that in i gotta make a release cut around this stringer here first so let's just make a little release cut on both sides you know what and because i like to get rid of bulk and you guys know that i'm going to now that i have this wrapped i know that i can cut on that 45 wire staple so guess what I'm gonna do that. And there's that tail, right? That'll wrap around in there. I'm gonna pull that tail back a little bit. I know that this is gonna wrap underneath. I'm gonna get rid of the bulk. All right, now, now we're in business. So let's just let that guy, let those guys hang. And now we're gonna work this situation here. All right, I'm gonna grab my trusty kicker. I'm gonna kick that a couple times into the smooth edge. One, two, three, four, five, six, and lock that in. You know why? I'm gonna take my hammer and my tucker. I'm just gonna hammer that down on the 45. All right, I'm gonna rake those uh, smooth edge pins because that's what I like to do uh, to lock that into place. And then, I'm gonna hammer that. I'm gonna hammer those pins down. Uh, like I said in the last video, I didn't watch it. They have a nice dog here named Shooter, and, uh, and a nice little girl. And you know what? They're gonna be walking and crawling and pawing up and down the stairs. And you know what? Sometimes those pins, come through here. You can feel them on your toes. So we're just going to bang that down with a hammer. And then guess what? No pins. Locks it down in place too, which is nice. All right, let's go over here. Let's get this side roll in here, man. And we're doing that in one piece. So like we're going to do, let's get rid of the bulk and start fitting it. Don't cut too much off. Take your time. Especially if you're new. Right, I've been doing this a long time. I can wing through it. Right, but even I like to leave a little bit extra just in case. Like, see that? You can see there's a little much there. We'll try to tuck it in and see how it looks. If it, if it doesn't bulk back on, it's okay. It looks good. So let's see, we're like that. Let's pop a couple staples in there. And that's it. Now, I've got to 
loosen up this this corner. What I want to do is I just cut up the top of the stair nose there. One under and one on the top, right? Now I'm going to reach under with my thumb, feel that 45, pulled it nice and tight. Guess what? Take your time on that cut. You don't want to be short. Just because you can't see it under there doesn't mean you want to be short. Now I feel about a quarter inch too much. Still feel a quarter inch too much. Maybe I was more like an inch. That's better. All right. So we got that. We're gonna wrap that. Then we're gonna pop a couple staples underneath. All right. I like to cut this little corner off sometimes. Well, most of the time because it gets in the way. There we go. Now, let's get this guy into place, our tail. Let me load up on some staples. Let's get our tail into place. Let's get rid of our bulk. All right, now, make that release cut there so that fits in nice and tight and keep it snug on the bottom. Right, not, remember that, if you watch the other video, this bottom stair, I had some trouble with it, it's, it's broken here. So I have to kind of push down here and level that out. Now, is that gonna be level? No, but I've gotta do what I've gotta do. All right, so let's do that first. We're gonna level that out. And we're gonna pop some staples in there and lock that into place. Now, we're gonna get all rid of our extra on the top. Very nice. There, and now I'll pop a few more in at the top. And that's done there, right? Now, let's focus in on our corner here. I'm just gonna cut it even and round it out with the other piece that's already been wrapped and stapled underneath. See that? Round that out. I'm gonna fold that in. Watch your fingers. Fold that in, and I'm gonna bend and wrap that underneath. So I don't feel any of the back. All right, take my hammer. Feels good, feels good, no staples. Take my scissors if I need to. All right. Let's show you those two stairs. Those two stairs were done in one full piece. Well, each stair was done in one piece. 